Good morning. Welcome to Some Bear Specialty Coffee Roasters. Um, today, I'm just wanting to do a little bit of a video. This won't be a big deal really at all, um, but to me it's a big deal. Yesterday, I went to the mail outside and picked up this package that had come in the mail. Um, it's called Standart, and today I'm going to tell you all about it. We're going to unpackage it. You can see what it's all about. So a couple things to mention before we get started today, as I'm unpackaging this, I'm realizing that I probably need scissors. Now we'll go this way. Um, I just started a Patreon, and I'd love for you guys to subscribe to it. Um, I don't really know how to do Patreon yet. It's new to me, so I'm just trying to make some things customized. One thing that you'll be able to get for sure is some uh, different coffees that I don't maybe sell on my website, stuff like that. Uh, that's what I'm hoping to do. The other thing that I wanna do is I'm starting to accumulate a lot of coffee things that I'm ready to get rid of. I have some extra things from videos that I have and I, I plan to put those back out into the world and to spread them around a little bit and share them with you. So subscribe to our Patreon. We're really excited about it. Standart is, um, I think it was started by The Barn Berlin. And I just, from following uh, this guy on Instagram, I like the way he does things, I can tell. And then I've listened to a couple podcasts with him and I realize I'm like, I like the way this guy thinks. I wanna know more about their business. But so this came in the mail. I forget what the cost was for this. Um, you can get it as a monthly subscription, but the first time it's free and it comes with coffee from the Barn Berlin, which is super exciting. So I'm, I'm really excited. I've never actually had their coffee before. And you know, this is just kind of a, a, a guilt of mine. I end up mostly drinking my own coffee all the time. It's really good. When I, when I listen to people online or I'm kind of a little bit awestruck by somebody on a podcast or something like that, that's when I wanna check out a coffee and be like, I wanna see what they do different. And if I can kind of aspire to, to those heights, if you will. And so I think I'm going to like the way he does coffee. I'm almost positive. Uh, roasted in Berlin. This one is The Barn from The Barn. That's the coffee shop, I believe. And I think they have a few or more actual coffee shops in Berlin now. Um, this one says Our Plot Brazil. I know he works with the farm uh, kind of extensively. And I say work with the farm. I think he goes to the farm. Um, but Earth Coffee, it says uh, Hints of Strawberry frangipani and candy. So I'm expecting some floral notes and some fruity notes as well, which is kind of my jam. It's got a links to the magazine as well. There you go, Standard. And the Barn Cafe is on there as well. Um, talks about the subscriptions, it's got the address. Okay, in here, I don't know if it was supposed to be this way, but I've got two of the same magazine. I didn't realize that was what was gonna happen. So, Standart number 33. As I open this up, it's got Standart uh, letter. It says, welcome, and you've now been in front of you as the best issues of Standart we've ever published. Enjoy. Um, it's sort of a letter from, um, it's probably M Mikal, or I'm not sure how you say his name. I would just say Michael, but I'm sure it's not that. Who's the founder? Inside, it's got another little, just cool. The thing that I, I'm really excited about this is one, I don't have a lot of cool coffee table art in my home, um, and I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to have a cafe at some point in time, and when I do, I want some of this stuff around my shop. So, Standart, this is, it's all about coffee. Um, so it's got a little layout of, of what to expect right here. Uh, let's see, just, I'll go over a couple of the things. Talks about El Salvador, smallest nation in Central America producing country punches way above its weight, all the way to, let's see, some stuff about standard team of cuppers, caffeinated middle kingdom, the, let's see, worms are the stars. We discover how slippery Californian invertebrates are playing a starring role in shaping organic coffee in Kenya. This is the kind of stuff I get excited about. I love fermentation stuff and I love so many, uh, wild experimentations with coffee. So this is very much going to be probably exciting for me. Um, let's see, page 14. It's got motorcycles. I love motorcycles. I don't get to ride anymore because I'm not in Cambodia anymore, but 
Yeah, really, really cool. There's something to these days, just having something physical to hold in your hands. And this is the cool thing in my uh, heyday, if you will, my early 20s is what I would call that, my band days. Um, we were in a lot of publications and I remember how my fingers used to get black soot all over it from just the ink off the pages. And man, we're missing that these days, you know, like everything is just accessible online and you don't get this opportunity to read about coffee. Um, the smell of printed pages is even to me kind of uh, nuanced and wonderful and it reminds me of of old things and and it it's kind of missing a little bit right now and i just think it would be cool if maybe there's a whole print resurgence that comes back um, so that part's exciting to see this i'm looking forward to reading it i've got uh 20 grams in um 300 so i'm a 115 guy if you're wondering what that is and i'm gonna pour a little bit of this see how it is Um, cool things that I just wanted to mention. Uh, this is a single origin coffee. I can't remember if he does all single origin. I'm very drawn to that. If it's kind of coming from one farm only, um, I'm, I'm very drawn to that because that's kind of how I like to do things with Sunbear, uh, as single origin only. I'm not interested in doing blends. Sue me. I don't care. And everybody can do blends all they want. I don't enjoy it. I like the purity of a real single origin coffee from one farm and that being the thing. I, there's nuances within that that could you could say, oh, well, it's not single origin if it's different, you know, farmers on that farm or whatever. But that's that's kind of where I stay at um, and I like it there. Stand art, um, check it out. Uh, the Barn Berlin again. Uh, look, listen to some of the podcasts. Very interesting guy in terms of uh, the stuff that they're doing. I appreciate that. Um, also, if you would subscribe to our Patreon, if you would please like and subscribe to our videos. It helps a lot. We're trying to push forward a little bit, and I'm going to try and be better about making some videos more often. Uh, so thank you, thank you as always for checking out Sunbear. Have a great day.